Now, the uh, magnesium, the iron, the zinc, and the manganese are higher in this, and my price is cheaper. Yeah, I mean, there's more cases of zinc toxic toxicities in the literature than there are benefits to applying zinc. There's probably more cases of manganese toxicity, too. In fact, I showed them with a paper that I published. There's manganese toxicity. There's manganese toxicity published, I think it was in the 70s. Can't remember what it was. There's several papers on manganese toxicities. Mine being one of them. Zinc toxicities. Definitely. Copper toxicities. These micronutrients are not, well, put it out, there can't be any harm. No, 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 no. That's not the case at all. That is definitely not the case. Micronutrients can be very toxic. Very, very toxic. The ones you want to stay with, just to be clear, I, talk, I get blamed a lot of times for telling people what not to do. I'll tell you what to do with micronutrients. Iron and manganese are really the only two micronutrients that you want to stay with on a regular basis. But I would be very careful in how I apply them. They can really, I mean, you can apply manganese granularly if you want to, but iron cannot be applied granularly. It's just foliar. So if you're going to do that, then just put manganese and iron in a foliar application and just stay with that and start low and work your way up to where you have a comfort zone. But I wouldn't go over, overdo it because manganese can be quite toxic. Iron obviously can be quite toxic as well. So find that happy zone. And that happy zone is going to fluctuate based upon the season. Based upon how fast the grass is growing, what time of year it is, how hot it is, how wet it is, it's going to change a little bit. But to put in copper and to put in zinc and boron and those other things, you're flirting with disaster. And what will happen is because it's a micronutrient, you may put it out and it may be two or three weeks before you see a toxicity show up. But you won't connect it oftentimes to a micronutrient. You'll go, oh, well, I have disease. I have dollar spot or it's the tip burn or something else. Meanwhile, because it was a nutrient, you didn't necessarily connect that it could be toxic and it would result in this. And that's the that's my concern as a nutritionist is that we haven't gotten the word out sufficiently that there I would say that there's an equal chance of causing a toxicity with zinc as there is helping your grass with zinc probably more of a chance of causing a toxicity with zinc than actually helping it so be careful with that.